Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. Now, I'm dividing the month into three parts and I will be looking at your general love and career energies for 10 days at a time. And this is for the first 10 days of April. So let's get to it. Oh, we have two cards for you. We have Peace and we have Buy the Book. All right, interesting. Some of you may just be reading a lot of self-help books. It's possible. Let's get you a Moonology. All right. Step into your power. First quarter moon in Aries. Nice. Finally, I'm going to get you a star code oracle and then I will move on to your tarot. Oracle cards are very important because I feel like they just give a beautiful overview uh, of the energy that you could be dealing with. Okay, that wasn't it. Solar flares. You know what's really funny? The card that almost flipped over was solar calm. But it didn't want to come out because this one did. Solar flares activate. It's a very powerful card. And step into your power, that itself. Lovely. Okay. I feel with your wisdoms of the oracle, you are prioritizing peace right now. You are prioritizing healing. You are prioritizing inner wisdom. And I feel like you are following the rules. You are not straying. I feel like if you're, you've started a new business for yourself, you are very meticulous about how you're conducting yourself in that particular business. And you're very disciplined. And I feel like with the peace card, there could be a resolution coming about if you're at odds with somebody. Uh, and I feel like only once you step into your power and you know your worth is when you will be able to almost command that conversation correctly. You don't want anyone to walk all over you. With the solar flares card, a solar flare comes about when there are a lot of sunspots on the sun's surface. And when we have a solar flare, it almost brings about a magnanimous quality to all the other planets' energies. They all start moving just a tiny bit faster and their energy gets amplified. The trees on planet Earth start growing faster, babies start growing faster, and it's almost like both sides of your brain, left and right, get supercharged. So you can become analytical as well as creative in one fell swoop. I feel whatever this is, there is a surge of energy that you need to tap into and this is quite beautiful because the sun is in Aries right now and if anyone can bring us a surge of energy, it is in Aries, right? So whatever you are manifesting, whatever you are putting your thoughts into, I feel like make sure you are following the rules and not stepping over anybody's boundaries, especially your own. All right. Let's see. Let's pull your tarot. Let's get you three cards for your general energy to start with. Oh my goodness. Three of wands, three of swords and the five of cups. This is what I said. Make sure you are operating from the correct place. Some of you may be in grief, some of you may be sad and I feel like, you know, what happens is when we are heartbroken and when we are in a bit of pain, we want to get out of it very, very quickly. We don't want to revel in that energy and marinate in it, you know what I mean? We don't want to wait to bring about that healing. We just want to move forward, we just want to take action, we just want to forget. If you start operating from that place and you start manifesting from a mentality of lack, you're going to attract more pain. I'm just going to get clarifiers straight away. The world card. Something's come to an end here for you. Whether this is a career path or it is a relationship, I'm not sure. For some of you, I'm also getting there could have been a lot of competition in the workplace and i think that didn't sit well with you you just wanted peace 
so with the solar flares you are almost activated to start something of your own page of swords make sure you're doing your homework for whatever this is whatever you are ending and beginning make sure you have all the i's dotted and the t's crossed because if you're putting so much energy into something you want to make sure that it is going to be lucrative for you the death card i'm also getting for some of you you see this frog right here he can't possibly sit in all three ships he has to pick one make sure your energy is not scattered and you're put focusing on one thing at a time and with the death card i feel like this is talking about some kind of relationship that came to an end this could also be a transformation in an existing relationship it's possible that whatever pain transpire here it may transform this could be a family dynamic it could be a friendship or a romantic connection we will see the hanged man shift your perspective shift your perspective make sure you follow the rules while you're doing that i feel like some of you may be feeling very threatened right now because you see in the hanged man there are wolves at the bottom of the card and he still has a smile on his face and it's almost this conviction that they are not going to harm me is what is almost guaranteeing that they won't it, it is that speaking your world into being kind of attitude being aware of your power lots of almost maybe cards page of wands whatever this dynamic was i feel like it may have been very immature the energy exchange was very immature again friendship love connection i don't know but this person if this is a love connection this person could have could have a wandering eye it is possible and you're having to defend yourself from this you're having to protect your energy you're having to protect your peace all right let's move on to career Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, King of Swords. Some of you may be entrepreneurs. You're very well starting your own businesses with the uh, Step Into Your Power card, but I feel like with the Seven of Cups, there is almost a haze. There's an illusion about how to begin, what to do, what is going to be fruitful, and what will be a waste of your time. With the Six of Cups, though, there is an energy from the past now for some of you i'm also getting this could be something that your family started that you may want to kind of invest more time in it could also be a hobby that you may be loved and enjoyed as a child that you can finally monetize upon the hermit I feel like all the wisdom you've gained through this journey we call life has made you stronger. It has made you very logical and it has made you it's almost like you're able to command successfully. Command either your own decisions or a team. There's a lot of power here. Page of Cups. you may be a newbie at something and i feel like that is the disillusionment you have a couple of pages here you have three pages i think so i feel like a lot of homework needs to be done with whatever you're investing your time into only when you are sure is when i feel like the wheel will start moving Ten of Pentacles, lovely. You remember I said family business. It's possible that this is a family business for you, and you're just entering into it, and you're unsure about how to make it more fruitful, and to continue that legacy. Um, I feel like you will be successful. Just make sure that you aren't putting too much pressure on yourself in terms of wanting to see results and getting that instant gratification. eventually there will be success but i feel like in the next 10 days you need to yes my goodness okay this is very specific for somebody i feel like the people who worked on this particular project or this career or this business before you 
went through a lot of burdens, went through a lot of hardship. And they developed all that talent and skill through this arduous journey. And I feel like you being new at this, haven't reached the 10 of ones just yet. I feel like don't put too much pressure on yourself. You need to go through this journey in order to be able to be absolutely professional on this front. To be a veteran on this front. Putting too much pressure on yourselves, I think. Pisces, the emperor, yeah. Wanting to be the boss. Some of you may already be your own bosses, but I feel like th th there is too much pressure here. I also feel there will eventually be a whole lot of success for you in the workplace. The Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles together, oh my God, that is beautiful energy. But don't kind of like Knight of Cups. Yeah, be gentle with yourself. I feel like you need to bring in a work-life balance. I feel like you're all work and no play right now. And you'll burn yourself out. Rest a little bit okay next 10 days now let's get you cards for love you remember what i said about the wandering eye that wandering eye is here again with the knight of wands when it comes to your love life i feel like whoever this person is could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius uh, this could be somebody who has a lot of drive and motivation and passion and energy. Could be somebody very good looking and very passionate as well. I feel like you're both coming from different headspaces right now. You are very balanced, very nurturing, very protective of yourself and your relationship. But <clears throat> this person was just a little too out there. For some of you, did this did come to an end. It is possible that they made you an option. But with the Nine of Cups, I see a wish being fulfilled. I don't know what this is. Let's see. We have the Empress and the Four of Cups. Yeah, you realize that this is not for your highest good. You realize that you are the Empress. No gender in tarot. Just take the energy with you. With the Four of Cups, I feel like whatever this situation was, you were like, I don't deserve this bullshit. I am the Empress. I am the Queen of Pentacles. I don't need a Knight of Wands coming about. And... I feel like that was you stepping into your power. Four of Swords. This wasn't easy. The Four of Swords comes right after the Three of Swords because after all of this pain, you need time to yourself. You do have two fours right here. I feel like prioritizing your peace and your healing right now is going to be prudent. Otherwise, you will stagnate. The Queen of Wands. I do see an elevation in this person's energy. They started off with the Page of Wands. They went to the Knight of Wands. Now they're coming about as a Queen of Wands. I feel like their passion and their drive towards you hasn't diminished. They are elevating their energy. Earlier, it may be possible that they had a wandering eye for everybody else. Now they almost have a laser focus on you focused on you completely but i still see as the empress you are prioritizing your wishes being fulfilled with the nine of cups right here this is not the ten of cups this is not two people uh bringing each other's dreams to fruition this is you bringing your own dreams to fruition i feel like you're being very independent right now the hierophant this may eventually, most definitely, most likely, <laughs> lead to a higher level of commitment. But only once the energy shifts. Seven of Pentacles. Because I feel like you don't want to give up on this and neither does your person. Because a lot of time and love and energy was invested in this relationship. And it's not something that you can just dismiss, you know. The Ten of Swords. For now, you're just saying, stick a fork in me, I'm done. You're done for now. There is an underlying energy that is absolutely beautiful and stable, but you're not going to see it right now because this person is just operating from a very immature place. Bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. So like I said, this is not something to take lightly. We also have the moon and my God, we have justice. 
you will see fairness you will see a balance eventually pisces just not right now the energy that you have within you when it comes to solar flares and activate use that into your career use that energy drive and motivation when it comes to your career to build whatever fortune you want to and i feel like that will be successful most definitely when it comes to love i would yeah i don't think you want to take action anyway you're just kind of done here well dropped a couple of cards all right let's see astral house happiness yes beautiful right next to solar flares i place my cards intuitively i feel like prioritize your happiness and your peace and your power right now don't let anybody else dictate how you feel and it's going to come about for you i like that wall misunderstanding yeah there is a misunderstanding here there is something here in in your love section that i'm not being able to pinpoint but it's almost like with the moon card it's meant to stay misunderstood does that make sense it's not meant to be clear cuz i feel like a lot of people are operating from a very egoistic place right now and every time a conversation is had especially with mercury being in aries it's just there's a lot of stubborn energy and a lot of self serving energy we have a month we have august i feel like either you're dealing with very well a leo uh, or um, even a virgo for some of you but i feel like august may be a great time to try and sort this mess out right now definitely isn't you have another astral house love well the moon is reminding me of this moon i feel like this crescent moon is almost bringing about darkness to the situation and that misunderstanding maybe whichever full moon we have in august i'm not sure which one it will be um i feel like you may expect things to come to light for you around that time and that love to come back in jug light hearted carefree time yeah you remember as i don't don't put too much pressure on yourself balance your work life work and life um i feel like you need to inject a little bit of joy and a little bit of time with friends and family and just be a little more light hearted in your energy cup you should accept valid criticism maybe that's the criticism i'm giving you maybe it is me telling you to go out and have a little bit of fun is what you need to accept right now but i'm also getting that if you have been criticized in the past by family because again intuitively placed right on top of the 10 of pentacles if family is giving you some kind of criticism i feel like it's for your own good okay be wise about it hat you will be playing a different role some of you may be getting promoted some of you may be given more um 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 responsibilities and i feel like you may have to elevate your energy right now leg stepping into a new experience again you are being elevated i feel and i feel like this, this also is suggesting that you need to take things one step at a time last card i'm not going to take out any more goldfish increase in material wealth or spiritual growth beautiful i like that jupiter is in pisces right now and spiritual growth for the collective is my god expanding and how so i feel like um whatever you do make sure you use that fantastic intuition of yours before delving into anything new it is very very important and material wealth again placed right on top of the 10 of pentacles i feel like whatever wealth this is whether this is family wealth or it is individual wealth you will see a raise in it i truly believe that all right that was your reading pisces i hope it helped you guys i will see you in the next one